Hello YouTube and welcome to another Linux tutorial. So in this video we'll be talking about a very important command called push T and pop D. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you may know, command line navigation in Linux is done through the command CD see here so CD stands for change directory so we often use this command in order to navigate through our directories okay but there are also two important commands that you can use in order to help you to improve your navigation so let me show that so here as you can see my working directory is printed using the command print working directory so as you can see here in this example my current working directory is slash user slash local slash bin so let's say for example that you want to go to another directory and you want to remember this current working directory so normally you can just use the cd command okay and provide the path to the directory you want to change in but this will not remember your current working directory so instead of using cd command i will use here the push d command okay and now i can move to another directory but still remembering the current working directory so let's try that so let's say for example I want to move to my home or desktop directory so my desktop directory is in the path slash home slash amine and desktop okay so this is the directory path that I want, that I want to move on Okay, so let's go to it here we go so here you can see that the prompt has changed to desktop which means I am in the desktop directory now but when I provided actually the push D command I have an output as you can see here is user local bin which is my previous working directory okay so I can do whatever I want in this current directory which is desktop so I can create for example a file okay here we go I can cut another file if I want here we go so remember now I am on my desktop directory so we can verify that so this is the, our current working directory which is desktop but as I told you the push D actually save the previous working directory in the stack okay so I want to return back to my previous working directory all I have to do is to use the command pop D okay so this feature is not provided by the CD command but with the push D command I can save my previous working directory in stack so now when I execute this command pop D normally it will move back to my previous working directory which is slash user slash local slash bin so let's verify that here we go so as you can see now I am to into the bin directory located in user local so let's verify that print working directory here we go so as I told you now I am in the previous working directory so these two commands actually work together so whenever you want to remember your working directory you can just save it in the stack okay so remember that one last thing how you can see this stack or how you can see the saved working directory in stack so it's pretty easy if you want to know the saved directory 
in stack you execute another command called dires okay here we go so you can see now the stack so the directory that is saved in stack is called user or slash user slash local slash bin so this is the path to the working directory that is saved in stack so remember these three commands that are really actually useful when you want to navigate through your system directories okay i can also another tip that i can give you actually is if you want just to uh, go back to the last directory that you are in you can just execute this command here cd a minus okay so remember cd space minus will just move to the last work last directory that you are in but for me i always use push d and pop d together so i can actually save the previous working directory in stack okay so i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye